What is going on, Punkadilla Nation, and welcome to 2020-21 snow plowing season. We are on the no man's land. So this is a very interesting map. You got all these nice square fields, but this is complete bare land. So we are definitely making um, our placeables count. So if you guys have any cool um, placeables that I should put in this map, leave it down in the comments below. I want to see you guys commenting down there. We're getting over a couple hundred views. Let's get some comments down there. Let's make a challenge for 2021 to always leave a comment per view to match our views. So I will try to include links down in the description below, as I always do with all of my series. Uh, these buildings are from Dave, I believe, from Expandable Modding. I think that's the right Dave. So let's see here. We got some stuff from DLCs. Thanks to Low Boy Nation for giving me all of the DLCs. Uh, we got the brand new um, OBS truck from Buck the Rental Man. And then we also have his 2020. So I'll go check those links out. This OBS was just released for his Christmas pack. Along with the trailer we will see in the other garage. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Logging. North Logging Company. Snowplow. And then we also have their snow blower over here for the deep snow. Very nice shop. This is actually the feed shop. Because over here, instead of storing feed in these bunkers, we'll store, store salt. So then this is the other shop. There is a weird collision like about right here. But then I think it goes away later on in the game for you. Big, nice shop. We have this Eager Beager trailer. I might swap it out. We don't really have a truck for it right now. And then this is the tilt deck from the Rental Buck Man. Uh, working hinges for the tilt to go back up. And then also his camper that he did with Austin the Farmer. This is the better version, just saying. There's a, there's a big argument I can get into that, but we're going to stay out of it. And then we have the portable uh, pallet racking like it was in the mod spotlight with the warehouse video that we did. So then we're just going to go and head and jump around. Uh, that's a weird spot to be spawning in. Guess we'll have to take a truck. Hope you guys have a great holidays if you celebrate Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Hopefully you had a good, happy holidays. I did. As usual, we do our Christmas, what was that, the 19th? Yeah, so it was the Saturday before. But then this year, I actually went up to Chicago on Christmas Day. Took a two-hour trip to go up there and see my sister, so that was fun. And the plow's just going to flip over. But as we get going here, if you guys remember, I did pick up a brand new, well, not a brand new F-150, but a 2015, so brand new to me. About 21 years newer, which was nice. Or actually, no, it'd be less than that. Because 21 years was how old my Ranger was. But it's been doing pretty good. We did the first going through snow and everything just the other day. Um, with the BF Goodwrench All Terrains, they did amazing. Used the 4x4 when they needed it. Probably would put my cinder blocks back in like I did with the uh, Ranger. Even though that was two-wheel drive, still needed them. Ultimately did very well. I have the Rhino Rope. I just forgot to order the D-Ring, so I went ahead and ordered those. Because we got another storm about to hit on... Actually, tomorrow, which is the first. I don't know when this video will get out. But they're predicting another 3 to 5 inches. 
So this is the uh, Home Depot by Lambo Mods. I'll include a link down in the description below. You'll have to scroll and find the post. But I'll take a screenshot so you know what it looks like. It'll be uh, put in with the light shot. You just click on the link. It takes you to the picture. Since YouTube doesn't really offer the feature kind of like Facebook of putting pictures in post. So very nice little placeable just to kind of like role play. And this is the parking lot. And then you can actually drive through. Very nice detail. Maybe I'll set up from the transport pack from Iconic Upgrades the Home Depot and its trailers. Some of your loading zone and then the garden center. And then you basically have a mirror image over there, but it's supposed to be the uh, Lowe's, but it's a different name. Must be like the overseas name or something. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the Snapmaker videos. That printer is a beast. A three-in-one machine, like, that is mind-blowing technology. That thing is built like products were back ten years ago. Just all, the entire printer is made out of metal. It's all built. It's got bearings and the what moves the machine back and forth and I'll give a detailed perspective on it soon I just got the enclosure built uh, last weekend so I think it was yeah it was Christmas Eve I got it built and then this is the Lowe's just changed and it says Rona but I think that's kinda like the partner company for Lowe's or similar it's got their blue so and then we have this placeable gas station. This actually made it to the official Giants website. Little Petro, as they call it, overseas. I actually prefer to say that instead. I don't think gas really sounds that cool. And then we're working way out there doing some houses and stuff. Um, we got a lot of stuff from used moddings. Uh, stuff so thank you to them for making those placeables like the u-haul and the tire shop and the auto repair shop so that's definitely going to help create more places to plow so then we'll zip up here and look at the uh, main shop the wipers are broken from a previous update uh, the rental buck man actually told me it's something with the animations you take a couple words out of the index line but it doesn't bother me because when we're plowing snow it's gonna be snowing anyways here's the shop I wonder if these doors open oh they do nice I'll have to put some stuff in here big giant doors so if you want to wonder, the front loader is from the classic pack, so that's the Platinum Expansion. Uh, let's see here. Hey, anyway, we got the little forklift. We got the Prius. Also from the Christmas pack from the Rental Bunk Man. We got the MC trucks. We got the snowblower. Oh, this thing's cool. This is for moving trailers around. So the the attachers right on top of his head. Then we have the U-Haul stuff from use modding. I pretty much lost communication with my storage hard drive, meaning that I can't really open anything. It still works, just having like an air with it, so I don't think I lost everything, but yeah, I had to buy a new SSD drive, so now we have a one terabyte that runs the computer, and then a two terabyte that is for storage, so bear with me, I have to get all the mods back, 
thank goodness I still have all the saves because that was on the main hard drive. Just lost all the mods. Which, yeah, it's all public stuff. I just got to spend time to go get it again. We got Salt Spreaders by 82 Studios. The beds, the U-Haul trailer, the snow melting machine. We're going to have some contracts here, maybe with Home Depot. Or just depends how much snow we can get into the map. You guys have seen last snow season. Like that tractor supply, we probably had... 10 foot snow banks like something like this but probably two times taller so it's gonna be epic we're gonna be moving snow maybe we can get the rental bulk man to come on the save we can get obviously the normal game that's CW low boy nation whiskey um, fat boy we can get all them people on here so with the faster internet that I just recently got in June or actually no, it was July that uh, makes a big difference on uploading all these mods because let me tell you some of my mod packs I send them now versus when I had Mediacom are probably four or five gigs bigger so no more sending over small amounts and I can just do the whole thing so that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for bearing with me on the new Snapmaker content I hope you guys enjoy it um, just willing to give you guys more content. This is not just a gaming channel. This is a all-purpose channel. It's gonna grow with me um, We may get into some vlogs, you know once I get a girlfriend and stuff we got got one in the works so Probably for at least two years. It was it's been off and on we've had some issues um, don't really want to get into that stuff, but we're working it out, so it could fluctuate, it could make another big change, maybe this year, could be next year, could be 2022 before we start doing vlogs. So hope you guys do stick around, we gained a lot of subs, so welcome. If you're a brand new subscriber, let me know down in the comments below. If you stay to the end of the video, let me know in the comments below. And we'll see you guys later, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.